going on everybody it's your boy job for the game here welcoming you back to another episode of the saga log hopefully you all are having a wonderful day i am myself uh today was actually my first day of no break and it was interesting is an interesting <laughs> interesting is an interesting way to put it yeah I, yes okay um but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a day. So, I, I'm trying to get used to this whole I actually have to do things and life ha is actually existent again. Uh, I think it, it existed. I don't know how to explain it. So I'm a busy person, right? Like I like being busy and going and doing things. And like, do I love my alone time to hang out and just not care and have the care in the world? Of course. Like, who doesn't love? having time to actually chillax and not have to worry about everything like in to an insane degree right like a lot of people love relaxing i i just love having like different things in life and it is nice to finally feel that way after not being able to feel that way for like an entire month but as you guys know this episode is going out on wednesday early morning wednesday instead of Actually, no, 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 this is going out normal time. Um, OJ is still in testing. This goes out at normal time. So, yeah, so I'm sorry for it being a day late and a dollar short. Hopefully, it's not a dollar short, but it's a day late. Um, and you're looking for Team Plasma, right? So they ran with the music when Park. Oh, come with me. I have to, like, make it, like, a nice, like, that's, a, that's, a, that's what I was about to sound so wrong. Thank gosh, I have self-control today. I oh okay. So actually, this reminds me of the Ferris wheel in Seattle. So I've actually been on that Ferris wheel, um, and so basically, I don't remember what the Ferris wheel is called. Forgive me, uh, but this it's a big it's a big Ferris wheel that's like. You're able to see, like, the Space Needle and a whole bunch of different things. And it's, like, a really cool Ferris wheel. Um, and I like Ferris wheels. I think that they are really cool contraptions that, honestly, like, I, my favorite part of the Ferris wheel. And for people who are squeamish about height and, like, and afraid of heights, it's okay. But because you don't have to like it my favorite oh go quickly let my battle cover what go quickly and let my battle cover your retreat okay oh that's right i have to i literally battle him and yeah it's silly um okay so moving forward but yeah i like the ferris wheels and my favorite is the top of the ferris wheel or like the you know, or Totally not biting my lip. Totally not biting my lip. Totally not biting my lip. This is definitely annoying. Um, anyways, so <laughs> yeah, so it's funny when you think about it because like, or uh, you have like the second one, that's the closest. Also, I never did a team recap. Oops, sorry. Uh, our Pokemon that we added was Joy's dad in place of Helmet. We have. Uh, Bullet Seed, Toxic, Leech Seed, and Peck. Which, actually, I might have to utilize right now. Um, no, actually. Who do I trust? This is a game of who do I trust. I think I trust Kaiba the most here. Because I'm scared. It's a Regigigas. It can, it can be a powerhouse. Um, it definitely is a solid 12 feet tall. So, uh, that is a random fact that I learned. Um, so, <laughs> I think it's like 12-12 or something. Not 12-12. Yes. Yes, John. It's 12-12. Also, double slap. That did a lot for being 45 base power. That's gross. That's really gross. Uh, I swear... I need to hit a stone edge. I, I do need to hit this. Come on, Kaiba. Kaiba, boy. Yep, that's 120 base special. 
Oh, I think we're losing ones today. Oh, we are not. That was a critical hit. Uh, and we're out of super potions now. Oh, crap. Uh, I wasn't pre I didn't come up prepared enough. Uh, oops. Um, that was a bad oofar on my part here. Hi. Um, my apologies for actually miserably failing on that. But hopefully Kyle Boy actually does his job, does his thing. No, he does not. Gosh dang it, Kaiba Boy. I don't, like, okay. The thing is, your Pokemon look happy. Yes, they do. They're, they reflect my personality and how happy I am in a given day. And like I said, today has been a really fun and energetic day. Like I said, first day of work. Things were crazy. Uh, well, so crazy in the non-traditional sense. What I mean by crazy is like, it was so dead that it was weird because uh you know this is this was the first day back from seasonal so like you have the seasonal time right and the seasonal time does its thing and it takes its time and yada 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 and it's busy and it's like ridiculous but then you have the non-seasonal like just dip it's like whoa what happened am i actually working at the same place and you are it's just it doesn't feel that way because of how little the ah, uh, how little the people are actually playing and doing things and like actually going to the store and needing to go to the store. So it is definitely a circumstance that I'm not ready for. That's gonna hopefully not hurt because it's from a Firo. That hurt a little bit more than I thought it was. Just kill it, please, Kaibo boy. Oh, I don't need the scares. I don't need the scares. No, I don't need the scares. Please don't give me the scares. That's a Nido King. Okay, Nido King's fine. Nido King's fine. Nido King's fine. Get out of here, Brittany. Uh, okay, so yeah, so it's definitely like, it was definitely a weird situation. Not something I'm used to, and I'm very ecstatic about the fact that I'm back and that there's things that are going on and life is gonna be fun and. It's just, it's a good, good thing. I needed it. Um, I'm excited too, because, um, if I continue the path that I'm on, I have a whole plethora of things that I get to take care of, which is also super exciting because again, more taking care of things, AKA advents and life that I don't know about yet, but, uh, I, like I said, in general, this is all an exciting situation and I'm super like today has been the day that I like. I woke up this morning. I didn't get a lot of sleep, funny enough. I got like, okay, you know what? I lied. I got a decent amount of sleep. I got six and a half hours, but <laughs> it's not a lot of sleep for me, but it's a decent amount of sleep and a lot of people would be jealous if I said it that way. But yes, I did get some sleep. We did do some good things. And honestly, it was super exciting that we finally, like, we were here, we did our thing, and yeah, so, and I felt really rested. Like, it's weird, so, so one thing that I find weird is when eight hours of sleep feels, like, worse than six and a half, and it's just like, in what universe is that supposed to be the case? Like, the whole point of eight hours of sleep, so you get eight hours of sleep and do your thing, but then, you have a six and a half, and I'm yawning now, of course, as I'm talking about how I had really good sleep, but I felt really rested. Yawn. Like, <laughs> uh, but still, I, it just feels really nice to kind of just have that. Like, I could totally, and, and because I'm not used to working. I could totally fall asleep right now and be totally fine. Like, and totally get to go to sleep. I don't work tomorrow, so... It will be just back to sleep, back to sleep, and waking up and being totally fine. And I have a closing the next day, so I'll be able to wake up at a good time. Like they really treated me well, and it like I, you can tell by the fact that I'm literally smiling and like, oh my god, this entire episode. But like, I, it, it is nice when people actually like. It's like, oh, yep, we care. You're amazing, and I actually got two uh, two wins at work today, which is good because. Um, the average right now is one. So the first day back, I doubled it. And I was like, let's go. 
Um, so yeah, it was like, like I said. And then it, it feels vindicating too because it's like you realize, hey, I actually am good at this. This is something that I do generally well in. And especially during a time where, frankly, I've been lacking in my, in the self-confidence department. It was definitely a need of mine. And I think a lot of that I should definitely start doing some more streaming and doing some more things like that to kind of gain that self-confidence back and do what I need to do for obtaining it or re-obtaining it. Because I didn't have, I was, I've never been super confident. Let's be, I'm going to be 100%. Like I've never been super duper confident in my abilities and what I can do. And it's kind of, it is rough when you do not have the confidence and the, like, thoughts and, like, how everything is gonna do. And it's like, you need to be able to respect yourself. And you, if we can put it eloquently a hundred times. You, you, you gotta take care of yourself before you can take care of others. But, like, and you gotta not be broken. But, like, how is it, how can you not be broken? Like, what steps can you take to not be broken? And how... How does that change? What does that look like? And unfortunately, the truly the true answer is no one really knows what that looks like. Everybody guesses what that looks like. Like, does that mean you're shredded beyond belief, look like a god, but like don't like have the care for others and don't give a absolute crap about anything that's going on in life? Or does that mean you know what you're doing, how you're doing it, and you just, like, have the self-respect to just do it and go. And, like, I don't know. It's, it's definitely a hard situation because, like, does confidence, like, how does one obtain that? And... It is definitely something I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to figure out. I want to surround myself with confident people as well. Uh oh. So, uh, yeah. I want to surround myself with comfortable people. Or comfortable people. Confident people as well. And kind of try and learn confidence. You know? Because, like, again. You have people... It's weird. Okay. So, like, people can have confidence, right? But then... Not show it. And then you have the transverse of that. Which is where people show that they have confidence. But pretend like they have confidence. And then they don't have confidence at all. And it's just like, oh. Like, that. how does that... Why does that work? How does that work? How can I... Um, help with that, like, and it, the real answer is you can't, there's really nothing you can necessarily do for that. Um, what do we have? We have a PP up and a PP max. Oh, da, da. I'm going to use the PP max on Brittany surfs since Brittany is alive. Um, and then I'm going to use the PP up on... Joy's dad's bullet seed. Um, I, I really do not think I made a good decision on part two of this decision. But, you know, we can pretend that we made a good decision, right? Like, I, I think we can pretend that we made a grand decision on that. Oh, whoopsies. But yeah, like, I don't know. <clears throat> it is definitely a interesting scenario and you got to figure out how you want to play it and what you want to do for that and i know this is a shorter episode of saga log no i'm not editing it so yeah but we're back it's an interesting situation and it really makes you think about kind of all of the fun that life has ah <sighs> welcome challenger i accept your challenge okay so how, oh, I need to actually not lay down like that. How has everything, like, been in this series? Like, it's been a really chaotic series. 
in my opinion, and especially as of late. Um, and I think my favorite part is that, like I said, jo we have Joy's dad on the team now, and it's super exciting because I like it's like oh my gosh, it's Joy's dad. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna use it? What's gonna happen? Blah 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 blah. blah. And I'm like, I have no idea yet what I want to do or how I want to utilize it. And, but I did train it up. And, you know, Carnivine is a very intriguing Pokemon. Its stats are not one that you would be like, yes, I love it. It's the most ultimate Pokemon of them all. Oh, my gosh. And it's like, but it's also not bad. So, it, it it's very... It, it Carnivine sparks my interest. I I hope that Carnivine will kind of show me why I love it because I do love Carnivine and I think Carnivine is a great Pokemon. Um, like in general, like oh crap, I have to click on it. I think that Carnivine is a decent Pokemon and has great potential. I just want to know where to go with it and what to do with it, right? Because and that is kind of where I'm at with. Carnivine. What do I do? How do I do with that? And I, I mean, I guess we get to use it now. That's actually, well, we actually have Fusion Bolt. I should probably use that. That makes a little more sense, unfortunately, for Carnivine. Although, uh, that's that would be hilarious that its first action would be against the Gen 1 Joy, and I really should have just done it for the lols i am kind of mad at myself now that i just decided that i was like yep nope we're not using joy's dad on on a joy like <laughs> on an actual joy joel tick uh kaiba boy's being used a lot more and hmm did helmet really take kaiba boy's role that much well no because i wouldn't have even sent out uh that against the Hmm. Intriguing. That intrigues me because it's like there's not a Pokemon that you would expect to just have like all of the glory and all of the power. And it's like I don't know. It it, it it's weird. <laughs> this game, in a nutshell, is weird, and I'm trying to determine how. To make it better and what to do. Come on, roller coaster. I need to fight this girl and then fight Eliza. 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 Say Elisa. And I'm like, is it Elisa or Eliza? It's, it's Elisa, I think. Miss Elisa. Also, that's an Absol. Absol is absolute trash. Absol is. I, Absol is one of the worst Pokemon. No cap. I hate Absol so much. And a lot of people love it, and I'm crapping on a Pokemon that they really enjoy. I hate it. It is not fast. It is not defensive. Even if it's on the attacking, it doesn't do anything. Watch me get obliterated by it now. It's just like, what do you do? Like, what is your purpose? Like, I'm sorry, but like, what is what is the purpose that you are supposed to convey? And how are you supposed to convey said purpose? I don't know. You, it's it is definitely a Pokemon that confuses me, and it sits here and just dies. Like it, it, I don't get it. I don't understand how a Pokemon can just be that blah. Like yeah, I used one Arkham, um, but also I don't remember Arkham being good for a reason. Like there's a reason I don't remember Arkham being like a really high-powered Pokemon that I really love and adore and enjoy. Um, because, well, Arkham was not that. I'm going to switch into Brittany and then heal Tweedledee, I think, is how I'm going to go about this, because this is the last battle of today's episode. And healing Tweedledee is probably a very good idea, because healing is awesome. Did that fantastic speed leave you dizzy? My beloved Pokemon will be the next one to make your head spin. Ye oh, that... I was honestly expecting Lisa to talk a lot more. That was, like, that's a perfect gym leader, like, thing. It's like, yep, my Pokemon are going to be spinning, moving on, fighting you now. Also, ah, uh, yikes. Uh, that's 
not so positive of a lead. So I don't have Kaibo Boy out. I'm, like calling for Kaibo Boy every five seconds. It's weird. Like we've just we have been running into Pokemon recently that just fit Kaibo Boy constantly. It's like boom, Kaibo Boy, you can take that out. Like the rock typing is coming in and coming through. And it's shining now that we have Stone Edge and other moves like that. Like, now I just need a Scope Lens and we're perfect. Glam Meow. Yeah. Well, you know what? We'll send in Kaibo Boy for that. No, I'm joking. Dakon, get out here, please. <laughs> you know, we'll send in Kaibo Boy. No. no. No, we will not send in Kaibo Boy. Glam Meow. Glam Meow is going to die. Oh, wait. Maybe not, actually. Tri Attack is going to hurt. This is also Joyce, like, one of Joyce's favorite moves. So. Actually, that's a good comment question of the day. What is your favorite move in Pokemon? Um, like in all, you can't, you can only choose one. What is your favorite? Zoroark is a good Pokemon. And I gotta stay in on. Okay, I just was like, oh no, I don't have helmet anymore. I don't have it full on. Like resist. This is bad. I made fun of myself. <laughs> and the game said no. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> the game. I was making fun of me actually thinking that this was not a, th or a threat when it wasn't a threat. Then it actually felt a threat. What is this metaverse that we live in? Oh, no. Okay, well, uh, I think it's time for Joy's dad to come out see what Joy's dad will do um that's bad on all levels I'm gonna leech seed it snatch oh you are gonna play this way you are gonna play that way I don't like that I don't like that you wanted to play that way we're gonna bullet seed you immediately yes uh, Joy's dad's gonna come out and get five please get five five Joy, I called it. I actually called it. I literally told Joy, I was like, watch, when I'm on recording, it hasn't gotten two. And I, I literally was like, it hasn't, Car Joy's dad hasn't gotten a two hit, and then it did, like the one time. And then the first time we use Bullet Seed on recording, <laughs> we get that. <laughs> Why game? Okay, so it did 30 some odd points of damage. So I'm gonna heal and be safe because uh, Joy's dad ain't dying. Not on the first episode that Joy's dad exists. Um, I, I'm that's it's really upsetting that co or that Dakon died because uh, they were the two. But here's the thing: I, I I knew that at some point Codename was dying. Or not, I keep saying Codename. I knew that at some point, Dakon was dying. Because d this is where quad weaknesses suck. Because you have Pokemon like this that actually you resist on a normal day-to-day -day that you don't because of the fact that, well, this random dark type has a psychic move that's high critical hit ratio. It, it, th this was the Pokemon it was meant to die to. This was where the end... Oh my god. <laughs> Why does this always make sense? This game... Oh no. We're gonna have another Lavany. Where they're camera shy and don't want to be on camera. So you can't use them. Even in scenarios in which they're very usable. Oh no. Luckily, Joy's dad's meant to be more of a stall Pokemon, so I don't necessarily have to rely on my, many things other than hitting Toxic, um, which is 90% accurate. So, if anything, that is not the worst thing. But on that wonderful note, I hope you all had an, a wonderful day. Um, I had a wonderful day myself, and I hope that everything continually goes well 
next episode, we are going to go ahead and meet a new party member and Elisa on Route 5 to go to Drift Bell City. Love you all. Bye.